that sort of like this. Yep, excellent. And then we have the chest plate like this. Yes, okay. Now we have boots like this. Yes, alrighty, we've got them all. Let's go start them charging up. Look at trees. Excellent. Okay, time to restart the uh, restart this guy and see what it does. Oh no, that's not good. That would suggest that it got yeah messed up. Okay. Oh well. So I guess we need to replace it, which we need to do very carefully. out of the repair bag. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to need to take up the energy link. Hello? Rabbit. Yes, good. Okay, we're going to need to take up this box. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can just... might fall the wrong way. Uh, let's be safe. Let's uh, do it this way. Okay, cool. So now we replace it. Good. Put our chests back. Good. Put our energy link back. Good. Aha! It's running. And stick all of our uncharged things in our charging bench here. cells in the geothermal generator. So what is it doing? It's not doing much. Oh, 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 it's doing stuff. There we go. Alrighty then. The idea is that it will provide us with both saplings and wood, and apples probably too, which can be fed back into the machine, into the EMC machine, to uh, generate lava cells to keep it running, and hopefully will actually give us a net gain of EMC. Deployer, there we go. So it's important to know if we can build a deployer. So we need to 
piston, some redstone. Put a piston in one of these chests yet. Rubber wood, no. Piston in here. Nope, so we need to make ourselves a piston. Okay. Some iron and wood. I think we actually got wood. Yes. it. Yes, it is. Is it going to let us use it? Like so. Just it's not working. Hmm. Okay, a little more experimentation just to see if there are some things that it can do and just not others. Like maybe it can't place blocks, but it can still like pull from tanks or water source blocks or something. So we got ourselves some water. Not looking good for our friend the deployer. It's possible that it just does not work. So you can build them, but they're useless. That's too bad. Oops, water. No, no. Darn it. Stupid me. It's gonna be turning everything to obsidian. is still being used up. But I just accidentally got rid of a whole bunch of it. Oops. Okay, let's check out our EMC farm and see what it has gotten us. Okay. 
Okay, lava cells are in here. Is that right? Yes, they are. Okay. okay so those were there before. We want to know how many of these will buy us. That is kind of reasonable. That's about what we put in. I'll leave some of them here. Go on up there and see what we get now. Up there. Here. Oh, and that's right, we also got our nano armor at least partially charged. Let's see. Uh, the boots are done. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're gaining. Throw eight of them in here. Just thinking about moving. There we go. The idea is that a tree should continue to grow as it continues to chop them down. Until we run out of saplings at the bottom, obviously, but it should take a while for that to happen. While that continues to run, the next thing we want to do is find out if we can actually get to the nether despite their warnings. There was a nether portal that I saw over by where I built my first down staircase, over in that direction. So I'm going to check it out, see what it actually is. You need to go in here, grab ourselves another shovel. I really have no idea what's going to happen when I show up in another that I'm not allowed in. And I'm going to leave all my important stuff in a chest here and just do it. I'm going to bring that shovel, but basically do it uh, nude. So we need another chest. Throw ourselves some wood planks here. That's the wrong chest. So we'll just condense the chest, that makes it easy. Hey, it's day. Nice. Probably not coming back this way. There's a little 
fill that up. Now, where was that nether portal? It was kind of over this way somewhere. There it is. Okay. With wolves. Interesting. Okay, nether portal. Do you work? Hmm? All right. On some servers where the nether is banned, you just stand here and it just runs forever and never takes you anywhere. And that seems to be what is going on here. So if the nether is indeed banned, my next thing to do is to warp to the shop and buy all the stuff that I would normally get in the nether because I can't get it any other way. I know that sounds cheaty, but I don't have a choice on this server. Let's go home first. Fill up the dirt wall here. I don't have a lot of money. $112. I don't know what we'll actually be able to buy for $112. We may have to sell quite a bit of our other stuff. Qualify for being able to buy that kind of stuff. Nope, I don't want to go up here. Oh, actually, I do. Let's see how my armor's doing. How doth my armor charge? Hmm. Not quite charged yet. Okay. What do we got in here? Eight saplings and 53 wood. Oh, that ought to buy us some lava cells. So the next thing we do is uh, next thing we do is ah oh yes, go to the shop. So probably should have some stuff with us to sell. Hopefully they will let us sell metals. So what have we got? We've got some copper. really too bad because I like going to the nether. I like getting nether resources, but if there is no nether. Not much you can do about that. Okay, so there's E2 items, red power items, nether items. Okay. Looks like I'm going to sell. Okay, let's see. You can buy, you can sell. This is soul sand. We'll buy a soul sand. Does that work? Yes. Okay. Got glowstone. I have dust. Dust would probably be cheaper. Blaze rod, gas tier, nether wart, nether rack. 
No, they don't. So, I don't know if we can afford glowstone. Yeah, I do not have sufficient funds. Okay, but there are more things at where? At warp store. So there's EE2 items. Coal, lapis. Okay, so there are things we could sell. Glass fiber cable, RE batteries. Red power items. Redstones. We could just sell redstone, I suppose. But we have metals, so let's see if we can sell metals at Warp Store. Ah, uh, yes. Set your render to tiny or you will lag. So, what have we got here? Eternalis fuel, stuff like that. Oh, that's right. There is an index. We should read the index. Okay, potion brewing, repair machines, repair logic gates, paint, cool exchange, nether items. There's nether items here too, plant sleeves, building blocks, mineral ores. Oh no, I probably should have left them as ores. Well, let's see what mineral ores does. That's uh, aisle nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. block, sapphire, emerald, these are all ores, can't sell the bars, huh, food, no, yeah, food is food, okay, so I guess we turn it all into redstone and sell it at warp shop. Sell some more redstone. There we go. Now we should be able to buy glowstone. Yes. Okay. We should be able to buy another brick. Yes. We should be able to buy a blaze rod. Nope. <laughs> Guess that's that. Hmm. And our nether adventuring is done. Actually, I don't know if you can.